What's going on guys? So this is a nutter, this is an attacker, and this is not quite Master Grade Monday. So let's get to it. Okay guys. So, for this Not Quite Master Grade Monday, we're going to take a look at our first RE100 kit. And it has the same problem that any of the boxes like this have. It doesn't quite fit in the frame. But, this is of course the Bawu. Came out not that long ago. And, while it's not a Master Grade, it is definitely a really decent 1 to 100 kit. Now, first and foremost, this is not mine. This is Nick's. He brought it over. He built it. And that, yeah. So, you know, the only vested interest that I have in it is that I've never gotten to look at one or anything like that. And I have to keep pushing the box back a little bit so you can see it all. There we go. But, you know, he wanted to show it off because he wants to support channel stuff like that. So we're going to see how cool this thing is or isn't. <laughs> and having transformed it at least once already, uh, maybe I'll like it better after I get it back together. But for right now, let's look at the box. So we've got RE100 up here, little double Zeta logo up here. And of course, great image of the Bawu right there. And some people sort of mistakenly call this thing the Rebawu because they mean to say RE Bawu because there's an HD version as well. But the Rebowoo is actually a whole separate thing. Of course, we know that. And if I can get a hold of one later on next year, I probably will to go with my unicorn. However, I think Nick said he does have that kit. So if we end up looking at it that way, we can totally do that. But the artwork is very, very nice. It is clearly a Xeonix suit. As you can tell, mono eye. You got some hoses. And of course, this orangey, yellowy color. Of course, you know, like kind of a Neo Xeon type. Uh, emblem there. Of course, it clearly states Neo Zeon. Um, yeah, I really dig the artwork. Now, of course, it's from Double Zeta. I don't know anything about that, except for it tended to have a whole lot of combining and other flying bits. But you've got Neo Zeon Attack Use Prototype Transformable Mobile Suit AMX 107. Yay. Bow. Bow. RE 100, 1 100 scale. Bandai 2016, made in Japan. Bandai logo right there. And this package contains one set of RE100. 1100 Bawu. Now if we come down to this side. That's a whole lot of text. Alright, it's capable of separating into an attack unit. And you get your whole big read up right there. If you want to read it, go right ahead. I'm going to kind of uh, skip it personally. But if you come here, you get your obligatory read up and rear and front shot it looks pretty good and very spiky realistically and you've got some stuff there that says vernies are authentically replicated god they made that and come over to this side and you get re repeat of the box art and this is re006 so it's only the sixth one they've ever made there's a couple that i wouldn't mind having but this one is you know pretty decent in and of itself and finally on the last side we have kind of an attacking motion here, kind of flying. He's got the beam sabers right there. You've got the old cannon mode. It says things, seriously, that is tiny and hard to look at. Now you have the two different modes. You've got the Bawu attacker and the Bawu nutter. Yep, that's what they called it. <laughs> and uh, you do actually get two different uh, stand adapters. We'll take a look at that kind of stuff. Later you get read instruction manuals, age 15 up. I'm right in the middle of that poly bag, and you get your little dude with the toilet. Now, this, of course, was after they started doing the uh, the, the half English translations, at least. Because there are three year olds there, 3,500 yen for the kit. That's actually not bad. So, very much, pretty much uh, older MG size or uh, MG priced. And you've got illustration is by Yuta Otani and Planeta. Haven't seen that in a while. That's, it's not going to fit in the screen, but it's totally upside down. Actually, the Bawu looks perfectly fine upside down. So, of course, this is already built. We've already seen it. So, we're going to go ahead and bring out the pieces and make the Bawu happen. Yeah.
And so we have the different Bawu bits out here. And um, I'm going to say I'm not too impressed. <laughs> it's like, it honestly just looks like a whole bunch of orange. Not going to lie. Um, and you have the attacker and the nutter. And we'll look at each one individually. But first and foremost, you can see it does mount very nicely right here on a 1-100 type stand. If you just pick this guy up, it's just got this little adapter right through there. I'm going to have to lower my light a little bit here. There we go. So, a little bit of an adapter. You just plug it in right there. And the nutter also has an adapter that just slips on like so. And you can do it this way. Oops, totally unpegged that. And yeah, that's that's that. So let's go ahead. And since we already have this one up, we'll look at the nutter. It is clearly not trying to be anything other than a flying set of legs. Because flying set of legs. Now, this is a minor complaint that I've had about Nick's build. He sort of rushes just a little bit and doesn't finish detailing. So, like, right in here in these nice little yellow intakes, he didn't bother giving us any kind of panel lining it. Then again, he probably missed it without thinking about it. Because, obviously, you just got some Babu legs and then a very unfortunate place for these to go. And the this just clips right on over the crotch. No big deal. But you got a couple of little wingies here. You got some missile pods right there in yellow. Realistically, the panel lines and stuff aren't bad. And you do get this one massive sticker right here on the side skirt. But it's like there's just too much orange. I mean, it, it's just not pretty. I'm just, I mean, like, set, set the kit itself aside. The design is not very pretty. You do get some thrusters here, there. Nothing underneath, and you get some really big vents. I don't know if they actually are thrusters or not. You also get some down here in the kind of crotchetal area. So, mind you, it is supposed to fly like so. I don't believe this has the pilot. I think the pilot itself is in the attacker part, and this might be remote controlled. But I honestly do not know. But yeah, this thing is definitely a thing. Now, I think we can go ahead and get it transformed because that's not hard at all. First, you want to take off these skirts. They just peg in. You got a tab here, and you got a little bit of a peg there. Bring the leg down. Rotate them forward. Yeah, so hard. And you can take these guys, flip it this way, flap it down. So the side skirts now become little wingies. Come down to the feet. And i got to remember how to do this. Kind of push these all forward, which will bring out this heel section. So you want to bring that out. I guess kind of straight up and downish. And then rock the whole thing back and flip that skirt forward. Do the same thing on this side. It's kind of a double, double joint. Or double uh, hinge, I should say. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what, just wasn't paying attention, I guess, and just didn't bother doing anything there. So, I mean, here's a light, just a little bit bright. And, of course, all of this section is what's going to go up into the torso. So, you can see a couple little holes there where things are going to clip in. Same thing up here. But for right now, that's all the nutter does. There weren't any weapons on it. There's nothing. It was just going to fly around all shoomy shoomy. And now it's a lower torso. Or lower body. Fairly tall machine. Now the attacker is where all of the other bits are. And this thing is a pointy mess. And definitely reminds me of some of the not great Transformers <laughs> over the years. Just the way it transforms is a pain. Um, once again, you're coming down to the sea of orange. Uh, it's, I don't even know what to do. I mean, you've got... You got the obvious wings, and you've got these little missile pods that don't fit on very well. They don't even tab in worth a damn. It's a bit of a stress mark right there. Maybe that's a cut mark. I'm not sure. But Nick didn't even have them installed. They were just separate. But I figured I would throw them on here. So you at least got your missile pods. You have the Bawu sticker there, Neo Zeon sticker there that doesn't really fit that well. You know, it's like some of those bad HG stickers that they're just not. 
They're not totally fit there. And I know that this particular part, this uh, Neo, Zeon, see, Neo Zeon emblem, tends to break on people. I don't know if Nick had that issue, but it does have a little bit of a nub there. We've got a little emblem right there. Not entirely certain what it's for. Probably the, uh, you know, the pilot or the faction that had this thing. Also, once again, i got to get onto that boy about his uh, nub removal. Just gotta get a little bit better. Gotta take it up a notch, you know. Now the this the the actual crotch peg here is kind of a pain. Gotta get this guy out of here. It, it just clips in, but it's it's on there. I mean, that, that is really really on there. You can see it's got some str stress marks just from putting it on. So I'm guessing Nick had never used it before. But you've got what equates to some big kind of vents right there. So kind of big jet intakes. you got the big nose coming out. Of course, the very large beam cannon. Of course, if I read right, the cannon has like a rifle mode. And then it has like a, almost like a machine gun mode. Like it has a rapid fire. So it can do multiple thingies. I don't know. This nose keeps like breaking, coming down like that. It's not broken. It's just, you know, it looks like he's got a smushed nose. You've got what is clearly his shield just rolling back here. I guess they're using that as a stabilizer of sorts. This thing's not really flying in atmosphere from what I could tell. It looks like it's all space flight, so why it needs stabilizer, I have no clue. Uh, the wings and these big thrusters kind of move about. You can kind of play with them. Got some up and down motion. You can rotate them. Of course, you want to rotate a little closer to the actual joint, but that's up to you. Do what you want to do. It's your model, not mine. You do got the thruster tanks because it's Xeon. And you have what is clearly the head poking out right through there with big old spines and nice little bladed effort. And that is actually fairly sharp, so be careful with that, guys. And this one in particular keeps popping off on me. In fact, it doesn't look to be completely installed all the way. So I've got to, like, snug it down. Looks like I might have some fitment issues. I could be wrong. Now, transforming this thing is a bit of a pain. I'm not even going to pretend that it isn't. So first and foremost, we want to pull off the cannon, which is kind of tabbed in down here, underneath, and then slide it out, like so. And for those who couldn't see, this big orange tab back here tabs into the back of the gun in that slot and then this part right here slides right up into there so you can do it without the you can totally do it without the rifle and honestly i think it looks maybe a little bit better but i don't know it, it, it kind of looks like a duck to me am i the only one who sees that and then you have the shield back here which is just tabbed in pop that off and then it is what it is i'm guessing this technically could have been laid down flat so there's your shield We'll look at that stuff later. The flyer by itself, without the added on stuff, I guess doesn't look terrible. I think it just looked too bulky before. But what you essentially have here is, of course, the chest and head with the arms just kind of hanging underneath it. Now, from what I can gather, just by, you know, just transforming it the first time. Oh, you got thrusters back here that were buried. I think what we want to do is come back here. Rotate these guys up. Rotate these things back. That nose just fell off again. That's actually the second time that has happened. So that is actually a very not good tab up in there. Now mind you, I've only gone from Bawu to Attackers. I have not gone the other way around. I've not recombined it, so to speak. So this ought to be interesting. Now I think this just goes right up in there. I could be wrong. We'll find out, won't we? Alright, so we got that flip back. I guess realistically we want the wings out of the way. We want to rotate the shoulders back up, like so. And you can rotate it. Oop, I totally just pulled the whole shoulder out of its socket instead. Because that's what you do. And the missiles can just pop off because they don't matter. And then these go up. Jeez, this thing is actually not very easy. For the most part, you've got it almost there. 
<sighs> take the nose, just fold it up under itself like so. I guess that's totally in there. I have no idea. And then you want that to go all the way up so that you got the head poking out through the top. I think this is supposed to tab into this, or at least close to it. This keeps coming out, so that's not happy. I guess it is easier to shove up in there this way. Now, I know that this has to line up here, but I don't know how exactly. And this is all going to clip together around the thing. So you need these still pulled up. Same thing here. It's got kind of a double rocker. Now we can go ahead and try to combine them. Basically, this whole thing is going to shove up in there. You've got that T, T slot. You can see right up in there where it's going to have to go right underneath the head. And I'm knocking stuff off. Honestly, without the backpack, it would be significantly easier. Okay, so I think that's about as tight as that needs to go. And then close that. And then come in here and tab that one in. And then bring the backpack in and down, about as tight as it'll go. And then fold the wings down. And I don't know, but that might be it. Okay, now that's definitely it. <laughs> it's like just finagling it, I got it to shut all the way. And then you want to come to this area right here with the hands. Go ahead and knock off the beam savers because that's what you do. You just knock them off. You can get a thumb under this, it's what matters, like so flip out where the hand ports are going to go because it's the one thing it doesn't do is hide its hands it's very much very much like a double zeta it just it's not going to hide the hands actually no I'll take that back the mg the mg double zeta actually does hide its hands away but we have the hands right off here to the side because that's where all the extra stuff is so i guess really this thing is very much like a big hg so it's, you know, master grade size, but MG quality, or HG quality, I should say. But there we have Bawu all transformed up, and I didn't even notice I'd bumped the camera. <laughs> oh, jeez. So now that the Bawu is complete, we can take a look at it in its robot mode, and of course check out the accessories. So first and foremost, we look at the big brown shield. Maybe it's maroon. I'm going to say it's brown. And not going to lie, it's a little bit messy. And guys, having built Master Grades and everything for a long, long time, this plastic is not the best. Like, this feels like dollar store toy plastic. I can tell by Nick's nubs, like that one right there. And I've even cleaned these up a little bit the best I can. They're just not good. That plastic is not good. Or, I'd say it, Nick might need new nippers. Because <laughs> some of these are just really, really bad nubs. But the plastic feels cheap in comparison to even some of the high grades I've built lately. And I get this was early this year, but man, or last year, I should say. And just, I don't dig it. I mean, the stickers aren't great. Stickers remind me of, like, I don't know, old MGs. I mean, maybe that's really what it feels like. It feels like an older MG. <sighs> okay, we'll, we'll 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 go there later, but we do have the nice molded yellow piece here. It does snap in through the front. You have all of these guys that apparently are all like hyper beam weapons. Like you could just have five hyper beam cannons just part of your shield. Like wow, I'm guessing this connects and it has its own reactor and all that, so it can fire in multiple directions. Even in flight mode, I guess it can probably use that too. But uh, I'm pretty sure Double Zeta was all about huge weaponry now you do get a very mg kind of like you know clip right here you can also flop that down is that a polycap yeah that's actually a polycap so rotation all the above this is where it tabbed in in flight mode i don't know what this is for probably just there but i was thinking that something would tab under here but it does not sadly but you can clip this guy onto the forearm i think it goes right there from what the instructions said like I said, once again, not my kit. I'm just doing what I can with it. 
looks like it just tabs on like so and it has some of that whole back of the arm shield issues like it'd be great if it wasn't just completely on the back of the arm <laughs> but it actually looks pretty good and it fits and i like the offset colors because if this was orange too i would probably throw a fit just i said fit a lot there didn't i i did it's late on a saturday guys okay and now we have the big old beam cannon rifle thing beam cannon machine rifle gun basically it does all the things so you've got big scope right there nice wires you got the molded red bit here really nasty nub marks back here i'm really gonna have to talk to that boy you do have pegs right here on the handle so it can be held left hand or right hand not a ton of molded detail but it's not terrible either but it is very hg quality on it. it's basically just two to three pieces slapped together and by the way for flight mode you have to have it transformed like so handle down and this part flipped up <sighs> hold on i got it i just gotta this knife isn't the sharpest but i gotta take care of some of these nubs i think what i might do is before i give it back to give it back to nick i'm gonna just hand it to miss shoki and be like baby clean up these nubs the boy the boy needs help clean up the nubs be like, honey, your son needs help with his nub cleaning. Can you help him out with that, please? She she is a nub cleaning machine, if I haven't mentioned that before, guys. Sorry, I, I have to do this. It's just, it's annoying the crap out of me. See, like, and also for something like this right here, I would probably use some of the cement. I'm sorry. I would use some cement to help clean that up and soften it and then um, sand it clean. I, I I wasn't intending on this being part of the procedure, but man, I just can't I can't deal with it. I can't. If he keeps bringing over kits like this that aren't cleaned up and stuff, I'm gonna have to hurt him. I'd be like, you need to up your quality, sir. I know you can build good stuff, so why are you bringing me half-built garbage? <laughs> okay, half-built is a terrible, terrible thing. I'm sorry trying to clean this up and mind you this knife is not even very sharp but all right back to back to the review at hand speaking of at hands we have this one right here pull that off and they're very very hg style hands and it took me a while to figure it out because actually they're molded very well so they do just split like that <laughs> come on let go it's a tight enough fit that i'm actually not concerned and you just tab the hand and the gun together as such because you know upside down was a good way to do that yep that goes the other way don't it way to go shoki way to go very good now can you hold the gun that's a good question the transformation gimmick actually kind of gives it a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra wrist joint i can live with that personally can you so you can hold the weapon very, very nicely. Yay. I will say that in robot mode, it looks better than than its attacker modes. You know, it's a little bit better. It definitely looks and feels like a very big HG. That That's what it comes down to. Um, you do get the missile pods still. And once again, they don't fit great, like I said, but... What you want to do is clip them back on, but instead of pointing forward, you want to just turn them so they're hidden away, like so. Also, adds a little bit of color separation to the wings. You just get that tiny little burst of gray. Surprisingly, makes a difference. So, you just want those put away, like so. Actually, just adding that gray makes a difference. Uh, but... I'm just, I'm having, I'm having problems, guys. Just having problems with it. Stay. I just gotta figure out the heels a little bit. Make sure there's a good heel spur under its feet. Now, he does come with beam saver blades. Nick hadn't even cut these out, so I went ahead and did it. We already accidentally showed off where the beam savers are earlier. So you do just pop them out like so. And, of course, go on just like they should. And it is the Xeon style of beam saber where it's a yellow beam. And they do tab into the hands just like the guns would. Let's see if I can do it without. Nope, I can't. I just can't. I just can't do it without. 
I was going to say, let's see if I can do it without taking the whole hand apart, but I don't think it's doable realistically. Well, nope, that was wrong. I could totally put it in there without taking the hand apart. That was awesome. I will give it a tiny bit of credit. You can give it to beam savers. Now, you wouldn't be, you probably wouldn't be grabbing it with the same hand it came off of. But, you know, who am I to judge? Actually, the funny thing is this beam saber is more or less in the way of the cannon. So, that, yeah, I was actually bumping it out of the way. It's very big Xeon suit where it doesn't effectively hold its own rifle. That has always annoyed me. Now, I do wish that there was weapon storage under the shield. So, we can take it up to, like, a Sananju level. I'm going to bend the knees a little bit, make it look a little more intimidating. Intimidating. Now I have a beam saver. So let's do this one over here instead. Got it. Okay. And I guess really if you wanted to, you could just put the beam saver blade coming right out of the wrist. Just be that way. I'm trying to figure out one of these. Where did they go? One of these crotch pegs should totally work. Yeah, this crotch peg will totally work in robot mode. But once again, it's a tight fit just like it was on the cannon. But it will totally work on a stand. As I say that and don't accomplish it. <laughs> like it'll totally work until it doesn't. That's kind of a, I didn't know until I saw it. But yeah. You can totally get this guy on a stand. <sighs> I, 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 I don't even think I want to talk articulation, though, guys. The details are all here. You do get stickers. Like, whatever this particular emblem is, I don't know off the top of my head and honestly don't care. So, I know somebody who is a bigger fan of these things than me will definitely tell me in the comments so they can tell me all of the things that I need to know about the Bawu that I don't know. Slide that out of there. You do get a quintessential green mono eye sticker, but yep, there's a sticker Nick didn't paint it. But you can totally paint it if you want to. Now, the images show stickers wrapping around here, like it was either a stripe or something else. I don't know why those aren't there. You get Neo Zeon. You get the Neo Zeon emblem right there. It was totally hidden. You get AMX 107. Same thing there, Neo Zeon. AMX 107 on the back of the shoulder. I'll just go ahead and knock that off, make my life easy. Neo Zeon emblem there. Whatever this actually says, maybe it just says Bawu, I don't know. You've got AMX 107 there. I put it in way. Oh, I totally forgot about this until just now. He has cool little hidden wrist missiles. Choo -choo 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 -choo. That's the sound they make, in case you're wondering. All in all, I guess maybe for 35 bucks, it's not terrible. I mean, I've definitely had better. Now, one thing I can't figure out is why this folds down. I, I'm sure it has a purpose. I just don't know what it is. Uh, also, I don't believe this thing has a cockpit like a Master Grade would. If it did, it would be probably right here if I had to totally guess. Uh, you got the hoses around the head. Of course, all the details we saw before, all the thrusters and all that stuff is all still here, just in a different context, because now robot mode. And like I said, you know, articulation is going to be what it is. I can tell you right now the backpack is probably going to hinder a little bit. I mean, the, I like the Rebowoo, personally. I like the design better, because it's got the sleeve aesthetic going on. And it's also, I guess, it's more of a deeper red. This orange, I think, is just getting to me. It's like retina burning. And the plastics feel cheap. I didn't build it, so I guess I don't have an attachment to it, but I have a feeling I wouldn't like it. Um, if I can talk to Nick after this, um, next time he comes over, we'll talk about the build itself. Stuff like that, and so I can get more information. He sadly, when when he brought this over, I did not have the time to get to it. We were we were uh, talking about other things, but I mean, overall, it's not bad. I guess it's definitely a thirty-five dollar kit. I just kind of wish it was more of a fifty dollar kit, if you catch my meaning. And I guess down the line, we can compare this to like a Z, uh, the double zeta since of course it's from that generation and then when we get the rebo woo out here we'll compare that to the unicorn 
but I mean like the color separation is cool. They got the yellow parts that are yellow. You don't have an exorbitant amount of like stickers making up for details. I need to talk to the boy about his finishing details though because like some of his panel lines are not very crisp, kind of sloppy. I have a, looking at it, I feel like he didn't like this kit. That's why he didn't do a great job at it. You know what I mean? Like you just you, you get me you get mad at it, you get tired of it, you just don't like it, so you don't bother putting in the effort. I mean, I know a lot of people do that, but you know, if you don't like it, still put in the still put in the effort because I mean, it it has cool details. If you're a big Xeon fan, big Xeon kit fan, you definitely should dig this. Does this thing deserve more of a master grade? I would think so. Like, I get why they did it in the RE line because I don't want to spend the time like hardcore developing a new master grade for a quote unquote obscure suit and the re line is very much for kind of fan favorites but obscure type of suits that's why we keep getting weird things like this and the hama hama and things that don't necessarily work on a one to 100 scale wood and you'd need a whole inner frame and all that so i guess it is what it is guys i mean Maybe I can get the uh, HG version. Maybe I'll like that. I don't know. I, I'm starting to feel like I'm an HG person <laughs> over an RE person. But maybe I'm going to have to get one to build for myself. I can't judge it as a builder. I can only judge it as a person looking at this thing. And just looking at it, at least how he built it, I'm not digging it much. It needs like another level of finish. If you're If you put in the effort like it's a master grade... I guarantee you this thing will be a better kit. If you've built this and you have different experience, let me know. Let me know what you think about it. You know, it's, 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 it's not terrible. I've definitely seen worse. But, I mean, I, I, I keep saying it over and over. I, I wish he had put in the effort to make it a better kit. And if he was here to talk about it, and he'd be able to excuse that lack of effort, I guess. I didn't even notice there's, there's like two little ridges here and totally different details over here. That's kind of nice. Just the, uh, this thing is begging to be made over really well. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to end it on that. So I hope you guys have liked this at all. If you're a fan of this suit, let me know down below. If you think that Nick needs to put a little bit more time and effort into these things, if he's going to let us review them, let me know down below. Like Just shout it, to, shout it to the imaginative heavens down there that Nick do a better job. Everybody let him know. <laughs> and guys, if you want to see more RE kits, you you asked for it before, you know, if, if we can make it happen, by all means. But if you want to make sure it happens, go over to the Shoki Patreon right here on the screen. Just like Andy, John, and Steve, they, you know, they help out the channel, they donate, and every little bit does help, but you can also dictate a little bit of the things that I will take a look at. So that's it for this review of the RE100 Bawu. The big orange spiky mess. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later. And yeah, keep on building. But build build a little bit better than this. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>